Hello there. It's uh, Mother's Day. About a week ago, we were discussing what we were going to do for Mother's Day. We thought about going out for brunch, like everybody else. We said, we don't want to do that, but what would we eat if we were out at brunch on Mother's Day? We said, waffles. That's right. Well, we didn't have a waffle maker, so we had to do a little research to find one, and this is the one we selected. It is the Cuisinart, uh, what is it? Double Belgian Waffle Maker, model WAFF20. Now, this will actually uh, cook two waffles at the same time. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing ever? So, what's the worst thing about waffle brunches? Is it being the first person to get a waffle or the second person to get a waffle? Now, the first person to get a waffle has to wait for the second person to get a waffle because that's polite. That means the first person's waffle gets cold, while the second person has to stare longingly at the first person's waffle while they're waiting for their waffle. And we don't want any part of that. So we got this double waffle maker, and we're gonna uh, cook up some waffles. I have all kinds of different things we're gonna try. I have bananas, I got walnuts, I got M&Ms, I got Reese's peanut butter, I got mini morsel chocolates, I got apple cinnamon, Applesauce, Nutella, you know what? I have baking cranberries. Anybody ever heard of that? No? Me neither. I have strawberries and bananas and blueberries and raisins. And we're gonna make all these waffles today. Now I made a big quadruple batch of batter. We're just gonna make a whole bunch of waffles. It's not what I was gonna say, but we're gonna make a, and there's a technique for freezing them we're gonna try out as well. So we're gonna have a lot of leftover waffles and we'll be, uh, you know, really having a lot of waffles. So, uh, we're gonna get this plugged in. I've already read the instructions, you know how I am. And uh, we're gonna fire this up and uh, make some waffles. Come on. So on this waffle maker, the cord is on the bottom and it's got a nice uh, thing for winding it up on the bottom. I don't know where it comes up. I guess it's got feet, so it doesn't matter. Now, I will say, this is a very short cable. It's only about a three-foot power cord, so we're going to have to go get a power, or an extension cord in order to make this work right, but uh, that's one, one downfall so far. Now, this thing is super simple to use. It, uh, you plug it in, it's got an on and off switch, and it's got a browner knob. That is the extent of the control. So we've plugged it in, we're powering it on. It's a thousand watts, so it's pretty hot. It'll heat up. Uh, we will uh, put a little oil on the, on the griddle part so that the uh, waffle won't stick. And then we'll commence to making waffles. It also comes with this handy dandy measuring cup. Now it's, there's a fill line on here, but the instructions say just to fill the whole thing up to make sure you get a good even coat when you put the the, uh, the waffle in the griddle. So we are preheating now, and when it's done, we'll make some waffles. So what I'm gonna do with this, the first one we're gonna make is gonna be a plain waffle. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to have a bowl set aside that I'm gonna put this in, and then we're gonna mix the other ingredients in separately so that we can make all different kinds of waffles while we're going through this. Some other necessary tools that do not come with this include a pair of heat resistant tongs for taking out the the, the, the the waffle and then a heat resistant spatula because when you pour it in then you have to sort of spread out the mm -hmm. the uh, instructions say to start with the browning knob on four for your first one to see if that's uh, good enough for you or, or if you want it crispier or less crispy so uh, it goes up to a level six and that, I'm sure that would be extra crispy, of course, but we're, we've got it set on four and we're gonna go with that. The uh, recipe for the batter, uh, just a basic recipe. I'll include the link to it down in the description. Six beeps means it's ready. Are you ready, Dolly? I'm ready. All right, both sides, there's a little green indicator. Both sides, the indicator is on. And uh, that means that 
both of the griddles are ready to go. Now, the first one we're going to make is going to be just a plain waffle. What do you want second, Dolly? Alright, let's go with banana walnut okay. for the second one. Alright, so here we go. First use. Open it up. There is the beautiful griddle. We have our filler. We're going to fill it. Oh no, we're going to oil. We're going to oil the griddle first. I don't know how much to oil it because I've never oiled one before. But we're oiling it. Alright. Oh, I got oil on my my camera screen. I'll have to clean that out later. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Where's my spatula? Alright. We're dipping. And we're just not making a mess. And we're pouring right in the middle. It says pour it right in the middle. We're pouring. Then we are Using this to get the waffle all the way out to the edges. Now we are closing. We are turning. See the air direction of the turn? Now the light goes out because it is now cooking. It is not ready. This one is ready. So we're going to get a little bit of the batter. We're going to put it in our, our combining bowl is what we're calling this. This is where we combine the ingredients for making the specialty waffles. All right. Have the batter there. Now the batter you can rest right in, or the, the, the measure you can rest right in the batter and it's got this nice hook for the side so it doesn't go off into the... All right. Now I pre-cut a bunch of stuff. So here's some bananas. Walnuts. I'm just I'm just eyeballing all this, so don't look for any kind of instructions on what I'm doing. We're gonna mix this together. Oh look at that. Can you see it? Okay. We're going to open up. We are going to oh, we're gonna oil. We are going to pour the batter. This is banana walnut. Okay. All, right. All the batter's in. We will smooth it out to the edges. Listen to that sizzle. Bow shizzle. All right, we're closing and we're turning. Now, we wait until we hear a three beeps. Three beeps is the indicator that this is done. And then we will have a waffle ready to go. Oh, this one's done. This was done. This was done, y'all. Green light's on, but it didn't beep yet. It's supposed to, green light's supposed to come on, it's supposed to beep three times. So while the green light is on, we're gonna, are we gonna let it burn? I don't wanna let it burn. Okay, I'm opening it. There was supposed to be an indicator that it was done, but that didn't happen. Look at this. That's on level four. Tell me if that's too much, we can turn it down. Wow. All right, now, a little more oil. This feels like it's definitely done enough. Is it here. too done? I can turn it uh, down. Here, mom, will sample. Okay, now it's telling us it's done. So we, we jumped the gun a little bit, but it was starting to smell done. So we uh, went ahead and pulled it now. So I think four is a little too high. I do too. Well, so we're, we're going to go down. Here in a we're going to go ahead and go down to three and a half while we get ready to do our blueberry. All right, so got the blueberry mixed in. We're going to try it just a little bit, a little bit down from that. All right, here we go with the blueberry. Pour it in the middle. Get all the goodness out. Push this around. Make sure we get a good. And we close. And we turn. Now it looks like the banana walnut one's almost ready as well. Oh, this one appears to have opened itself up. This one 
Banana walnut. All right, what's next? What's next? So wait, we did blueberries? Yeah, blueberries in there. I want to do something Nutella, maybe. Well, like... Nutella is, you put that on after. Oh! That's a topping. So what are our other options for in Pe it? Peanut butter, chocolate chip, uh, apple cinnamon. Uh, cre peanut butter. Okay, peanut butter it is. What are we having right now? That is banana walnut. Okay, so now we're making peanut butter. And I think in a perfect world, we probably would have thought of that about butter being out. Because yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day! Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, here we go, peanut butter. And I'm just a mother. <laughs> okay, so we have this spread out. We're closing. Now, I think that probably popped itself open because I overfilled it. But now, see, this one just popped itself open as I turned it. So I closed it again. Hopefully, it didn't restart that. Okay. I can always open it up and look. Ooh, that looks amazing. Really? Yeah. Mm. The blueberry, it's all full of blueberries. Mm. See, it's popping itself open. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's something we just learned. If you overfill it, it will pop itself open. So I am closing it, holding it closed. This one's not quite, oh no, it's not. Okay, so you'll have to hold it closed to finish it up if you overfill it. We need to not overfill it because one's going to get done okay so we thought it'd be good to overfill because we want like big fat waffles but overfilling is not good what's next chocolate yes I thought we said peanut butter peanut butter's already in oh sorry yeah chocolate we're doing chocolate we're going to not overfill right, chocolate peanut butter Basically three and a half. And so what's in here? Peanut butter chips? Peanut butter chips. Next one will be applesauce. Apple cinnamon. Okay. I'm not sure I even want that. You, you, you want it. So then peanut butter. Okay. Maybe like a little apple tart. I'm <laughs> a huge apple flavored person. I like the real thing. Is that the right, how's the consistency on that? It's good, and the peanut butter and Nutella mix is yummy. I think the secret might be, for me, it's going to be whatever with Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we know for sure we do not overfill because it does not like it. It uh, pops the lid open, and, and it doesn't allow you to cook it properly. So while, while you would want it nice and full, overfilling is bad. So ladies, how are you enjoying your waffles? Well, compliments to the chef. Yes, delicious, <laughs> delicious, delicious. It is, did I just have Nutella all over my teeth? Yeah. Mmm. So, what do you think is your favorite so far, Mom? I don't know, I haven't decided. Yeah. Right, this one, I believe, is chocolate. You might want to... Oh, okay. Yep, chocolate chip. Okay, hold on. I think we're getting the, the right... Uh, Ooh, can you smell the apple cinnamon one? Smell that. It smells delicious. I think you're more excited about that one than I am personally, but that's okay. Well, I just All think right. it smells... I'm actually not going to enjoy eating it. I just think it smells good. Chocolate chip is a winner. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Again, I feel like anything with the Nutella is going to be delicious. That's a chocolate chip. 
Be the next one coming out to cranberry. Cinnamon's coming up next. And then we have M and M's, raisins, and strawberries. Okay, here we go. This one is apple cinnamon. Ooh, I think this one's perfect. Look at how fast the turnaround time is. So I just. Uh, it's like you're a line cook. Yep. Yeah. Strawberry. Well, I think you were predisposed that way, but I was waiting to be surprised. And you were not. Correct. Okay. What about you, Dolly? Apple cinnamon, okay or not? It's okay. And be it's honest. It's okay. Favorite. It's not my favorite so far. All right. What do you think your favorite is so far? Uh, the chocolate. Oh, look at that! I like the chocolate. You are a chocoholic. I kind yeah, of forgot that. You, you ate the whole chocolate one, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. This one's almost ready. Which one is this? Don't remember. I know. Okay, now as I make more, more of these for future use, I'm going to make some plain ones. What others do you want me to make? Chocolate? Did you like the peanut butter? I would say chocolate and blueberries. Peanut butter was okay, but but you mean the the ones for us to have frozen? Or I would say chocolate chip and blueberry. Yeah. And plain. And plain. All right, I need to cut some more blueberries, but that's okay. I, I lost patience. Which one is that? I don't know. Oh. Uh, next is going to be raisins. Was this cranberries? Was this M and M's? No, not M and M's. That's probably cranberries. The one I questioned the most. This is. This is a waffle party. Yeah. Waffle party for three. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, waffle style. Right. I preempted this one. It looks it appears to be done. This is a strawberry. Okay. Next, and the final one we have to make is M and M's. Oh, the batter started melting the uh, M and M's. The M and M oh. hard candy shell. Oh. Batter will be, be party colored. The strawberries, I can see them here. So, yeah, that's. I think it's telling me this one's done. Ooh, this is the raisins. The raisins are done. Hello? Okay! <laughs> I 
All right, we're on the last one, and uh, we'll have a follow-on video about how well we liked each of the kinds, and then uh, we will uh, wrap it up for the day and enjoy our Mother's Day. I hope you guys have a good Mother's Day and Others Day. Thank you. And then I'm going to get to have some waffles, too. Yes. We've been watching us. Um, uh-oh, here we go. M&M's. Ready? Yes. I have high expectations for the M&M's. Anybody else want another waffle? Like another plain one? We've got a plain one coming out here in a minute. Um, I just want to be... I mean, it's in a good way. I just want to, like, be done eating. Very good. I like that. You like the m one? Uh, basically, as far as cleanup goes, you, you cannot take apart this. You cannot take the griddles out. It's it's about uh, hand hand cleaning, but it's very simple to, to hand clean. Just just a wet cloth, no soap. Don't take it apart at all. Instructions very clear. Do not take anything apart. Are you going to finish that one off, Dolly? Yeah, I'm taking a look. <laughs> it's good. Right. I say this was a success. Yeah, we I love the it. waffle maker. It's amazing. It does whips these things out really fast. Uh, everything about it is is, is pretty uh, pretty great. So uh, I would recommend it. It's a little pricey, but it's definitely worth it. Enjoy ours. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, but thanks for coming by, and uh, we'll see you next time, and uh, I don't know what else to say. Bye.